Welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cyberverse Leader Optimus Prime. Now, I know he has a special name. I threw out the box weeks ago. I have no idea what his special name is, nor do I care. I have a Leader Optimus Prime from the Cyberverse, and I think he's pretty cool. I like his truck mode. It, it's like a mix of his G1 truck mode and... Some futuristic Cybertronian whatever. Normally I hate putting the word Cybertronian in front of anything to make it Cybertronian. But this this is a pretty nice nice truck mode. I mean, there's a little squat. And if I'm honest, it makes me think like it's made for bots. So it's, it's, it's fairly wide because the uh, Transformers are wider than humans. So let's, let's go take a small Transformer that would probably have fit in there. And maybe that's actually too big. But in any case, he is a Cybertronian truck with no trailer. Pretty sure somebody's going to fix that. His transformation is it's familiar, but clever at the same time. He does roll okay. I mean, mine catches on the bottom here. Whoops. Shoot. I uh, see why it catches on the bottom. I didn't have the thing in a proper position. There we go. There we go. This front wheel doesn't like to roll. Neither does the other front wheel. It's more like sliding. But it doesn't really roll very well. But he looks he looks decent on the shelf. Um, let's see. What do I have to show off the size of him? Here we have a deluxe bumblebee. We'll go ahead and just kind of rest it on there. So you can see he's it's it's fairly fairly in scale with the movie verse figures. Maybe it's a little small, it's a little squat, that's the problem. It should be a little higher. But you know, and I, I only have one other cyberverse figure because I really don't like the line, if I'm honest with you. I love the cartoon. I love the cartoon, and I don't mind the designs in the cartoon at all. Uh, it's just the toys where it's literally the gimmick. It, every every toy is a freaking gimmick that takes precedence over the toy. I don't like that. Here, the, the, there's a gimmick here. There is a gimmick here. But it doesn't necessarily take pre precedence over everything else in the toy. It, it's 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 not obst uh, obtrusive, really. You press... There you go. And this comes out and it spins. And when it spins, this part opens up and you see there's a matrix. It's it's a spinning matrix. I I don't know why. Actually, I'm tempted to just take this the blue translucent pieces off because I like I like that there's I like that there's a matrix in there. I like that that you know that's a thing. But um, you can see there's there's detail in the, the truck mode. Uh, in the truck mode. In the in the inside of the truck as far as like, there isn't a cab or anything but there's design would you go in there already Let's flip that back for the moment so we can get that back in here okay there we go yeah so there's that it's not a bad whatchamacallit I don't mind it at all this looks like this I don't know, it looks like that's supposed to be part of this. But it doesn't come out forward enough, and it's smaller. Eh, whatever, I don't care. It's, I like I like this mode. But let's go ahead and transform him into his robot mode, which I also do like. Now, I like the design of this figure, and I like the design of Optimus on the show. I don't like the voice. The voice sounds like they're trying to do Peter Cullen, but it's, it's too soft. It's not heroic enough. So let's go ahead and... Get these panels on the sides and flip them around like so. Take these panels here, open those up. We're going to go ahead and take these bits here and they 
split apart and then come up like so and I've activated the gimmick again comes up like so close these bits here close these bits here and your legs are now done yes they are very hollow let's go ahead and take this part we're gonna flip this piece all the way back we have to do that anyway we'll go ahead and push that back and come over here and like I said familiar transformation so you just pop that from the side here they become the forearms and pull this out that becomes the arms take this piece here flip it forward and there you have Optimus Prime's top half pretty much done now you take this piece here and it accordions down and plugs in right there and then take this piece here and you just slide it in just sorry take this piece and you slide it in there's two grooves here with a little bit to catch like right there and there you have your Optimus Prime in his bot mode and he's not bad he could have been a lot worse the one real complaint that I have with this figure is that his fists are covered by these truck bits that's my one real, it's not that he's so much that he's hollow, although he is fairly hollow. You can see he's hollow right there, hollow, hollow, hollow here. But, that aside, it's not a bad looking figure. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. Let's take, turn off the lights for a minute. So you can get a, a good look. There we go. So let's move him back a little bit and let's use the zoom because the zoom is what we need. So here we have Optimus and his very Optimus Prime face. You can see he's got a mouth plate. It's actually well sculpted. Well sculpted. I like the eyes. The eyes definitely look good. Um, he's got fairly decent smokestacks. I mean, that they're short-ish but only because they're missing like the bottom part here I mean this part that's actually fairly tall and I'm surprised that that was allowed uh, considering how our Optimus Primes in America have had their smokestacks either made of really soft material which this is not this is not really soft this is fairly hard plastic um, so I'm surprised well, let's go ahead and go down and there's the arm and again I, I wish this part maybe just you know went that way or something but uh, it's not it's not the end of the world I've seen worst toys it is a leader toy though although I think it's only 29 bucks rather than the normal 44 to 49 bucks that Hasbro charges for their leader toys so there we go going all the way down and it's it's fairly well de well detailed. Um, it's got more than enough paint considering the price point. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start with the articulation. His head can go side to side. It can only go that far before it hits the decorations on the back. Arms can go 360. Uh, because of transformation, they can go out. Uh, you can get them to go that far straight, all right, that far, yeah, that far, rotate like that, it's on a mushroom peg, and it's got a ratcheted elbow, you can see the ratchet, it's really, uh, well, I mean, it's okay, it's it's actually not bad, I, I wouldn't mind more robots having a ratchet like this, and in, in at least, uh, because sometimes you get ro robots that are just they're big but they're missing the ratchets or they're bull jointed and they're too heavy and you know they're not gonna last for long uh... no waste no waste uh... Let's see ab crunch no ab crunch legs can go that far forward and that far back so you can get a good walking running you can get a running pose out of him um, his legs can go almost straight out but the ratchets are so weak look at that 
He does have a mushroom peg at the upper thigh, so you get a very tight, but you get a bit of rotation there. You can actually get it to go all the way around. Ah. Okay. He's got a knee. He's got a fake knee right here. Due to transformation, he's got a his real knee is is lower. So he's got a fake looking knee here, but due to transformation, his his real knee is right there. Um, yeah. And his gimmick still works in this mode now. If the, there we go. Push that down, and his matrix does pop out. Again, this would be awesome if it, because I guess it's supposed to spin or something. When it spins, you can see when it spins, it shows the matrix a little bit. But I wonder, is there a way? Oh, they're pinned in. Shoot. They are pinned in. I would have to break. I have to break this in order to get those off. That's a shame because there's an actual nice nicely molded matrix underneath but it's covered by by this whatever Enerdron mess oh, go ahead and close that back up whoops close that back up I said come on okay now his hands have holes in them so Provided you've got something that with a long enough peg, you can actually use a weapon. Oops. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, it's all the way down. Okay. But yeah, you can use with a something with a long enough handle, you can use the weapon. And it's, it's in there fairly decently. It's a little loose, but it's not overly loose. Ooh. So there's that. Um, let's do the size comparison real quickly. I'll go ahead and get. Where did I put MP10 at? Uh, oh, he's back on the shelf. And there we go. And he is roughly. The